Hello everyone. Welcome to another sunny, beautiful day here in Colorado. Uh, today what we're going to do is do a full fashion shoot out here in the National Wildlife Refuge. Um, but we're going to bring a very, very light setup. So I brought my camera and my iPad and we're going to tether the camera to the iPad with Evoto. I'm going to show you how I have my standard preset that as I'm shooting, those pictures are coming in, they're getting the presets applied. And when we take a break, the model and I can both look at them. Um, they're generally 90% ready to go. And while we're out here in the field, can finish them up, get them out, get a couple out for stories or posts, whatever we need to do right away, um, all while we're out here in the field. So let's go do it. Come with me. Okay, to get started, all we have to do is fire up Evoto, hit tethered shooting, give a project name, and connect the camera. That brings us to this screen. And the key thing here is to apply the preset that I want to apply for each time it imports photo. So I have a special uh, preset I made just for today's shoot. So I'll select that one and that's it. We are good to go. From here, it's just like shooting in a studio or anywhere else where you're tethered. You know, as you shoot, the picture pops up on the iPad. Now, please note, this is not how I normally would do it, but I wanted the iPad in the video. So I put it up on the, on the back tire. Okay, so here we are back at the iPad and I, I picked a set where we're a little bit closer so you can see the impact of the actual changes um, on her. And so as you can see right away, the layout on the iPad is very, very similar to the desktop. Um, so if you're used to the desktop version, um, you'll have no problem adapting to the iPad. And what the, the functions, actually some of them are very easy and easy, maybe even slightly better. Cause like to zoom, you just sort of, you pinch and move your fingers back and forth and you can very quickly move the screen around, pinch to zoom, all this kind of stuff, which I love. Um, so I love, you know, the, the, the screen touch sometimes can be a lot faster and more precise. So I, I like to do that on the, on the iPad, but it works very similar. So this is how, this is how the picture came in. Um, you know, with the preset, I'm actually going to pick one that's a little bit closer on her face. We can see the impact. So here we are on her face. Um, and this is exactly how it came in, uh, while we're tethered because it applied my standard preset and it looks pretty good. Now, if you put your finger on little split window here, it goes before, after, before, after. So a couple things, I'm going to move this over here a little bit. Look at the hair before, after before, after. So Yvoto did an amazing job kind of cleaning up those stray hairs. Um, the one challenge I have is if I look at before and I hold this, you see she has a lot of freckles and I know she likes her freckles. So I overdid the blemish removal and I overdid the skin smoothing a little bit in this preset for her. Um, so what I, all I have to do is we'll go into blemish removal and we'll just tone this way down, especially for freckle. I'll just turn off for freckle. All right, so if I go before, after, before, after, um, they're, they're all there, but they're a little over smoothed. Again, all I got to do is go to skin retouching. Um, I'm going to bring down the dodging and burning a lot. And maybe the overall skin smoothing because she has pretty smooth skin. Now, if I go before, after, before, after, it did an amazing job. Right, and so it's all there, all the details there that I like, the freckles are back. If we zoom out, it looks super natural. Um, you know, so it looks, it looks amazing. And basically, um, you know, for what I would do now, I'd call that great. Let's, let's, let's apply that to other images. And there's many ways to do um, multiple selections, but you can long press, hit multiple selections, and then just pick the ones you want. Hit okay. Right, and now it's just like the desktop with, with, I says seven selected, I can go ahead and sync, and it'll sync those changes across all the rest. So if I pick this one, and I zoom in, and I go before, whoops, let, let's do its thing. I go before, after, before, after. It smoothed it out, but look, it kept all the freckles the way we wanted. Um, and so it works great. And so I really enjoyed using this out in the field. Um, I'm certainly going to be using it more and more if I'm traveling light out in the field. I hope you guys all enjoyed this and go give Evoto on an iPad um, a shot. See how it works in your particular workflow. 